Hello, people of Earth. It's your pal, the Orbital Outcast, Rad Gnarly, coming away with some low-key broadcasting. Today we're doing some sand platforming in Sable, but first I'd like to say hello to everyone in chat or checking us out on VOD. No matter where or when you happen to be in this great big old world of ours, we're happy to have you with us, and we hope the day finds you well. Hang on one second, I just have to reset the capture card settings real quick to make sure that the sand's in sync. Badoop, as we play a little bit of Shable. Da, 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 da. As you can tell, it's another no cam jam. But uh, I don't feel too badly about that today. In fact, I was pondering it up to the up into the uh, launch of the Hello. countdown. Hey, woo, what's going on? Hope you're having a good afternoon. Nate, nice to see you as well. Hope you're having a good day. We're just about to dip into Sable here for the very first time. Ah, hey, there's Nate announcing himself via the spirit of Mrs. Doubtfire. I was just explaining how it's a no cam jam today because I kind of don't want to get in the way of this one. Like it's got some kind of a unique look and uh, a color palette that even my, you know, little circular icon in the top corner seems intrusion enough upon uh, what we're about to see. Not that I'm expecting like, you know, uh, to be thoroughly changed by the graphical design of this game. It just has a nice unique look that I kind of want to stay out of the way of as much as I can. Oh, thanks, Uwu. Appreciate you. I do like my bright, garish color palette for most things. Helps me stand out, I feel. At least over whatever game I'm playing. Which, to be perfectly fair to myself, quite often contain neon shades of their own. Hmm, this game just updated today before I, uh, before I loaded it for the first time, and even loading the game was slower than I noticed uh, in my previous brief experiences with this. This is just trying to load us the beginning of the game. Uh, mm -hmm. Looks like a disappointed cat. See, it's got, like, frowny. Oh, there we go. Shed works. Shed works. Continues. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Look at this. Even, wow, they, uh, even the, uh, shading or lack thereof. Yeah, this, okay. I agree with my own decision. I might turn up the volume of this thing, because it just seems to be mood music, if anything. Whoa. That's cool. Wonder who carved that. Like little pillars nearby that look like droids. Whoop. Ooh, this thing looks neat. Okay, quest started the ceremony. View quest log with start. Move Sable around. Oh, my name is Sable. Lovely. With left stick. Oh, the animation's kind of fun. Like, it looks like it's purposely skipping frames. See, watch. Like, even in the move, even in the walk cycle. Cool. I'm just, yeah, everything's got a, everything's a choice at this point. Because there's no way it's not running perfectly fine. That's interesting. Hmm. Jump still seems pretty smooth, and it probably needs to in order to help you properly platform. But, all right, standard so far. We're jumping, we're moving the camera. We're moving our character around. I wonder if I'm meant to climb up there. Oh, there's another one up there. See, I don't, uh, I don't know anything about this game other than I need to turn the sound up. Okay. Let's give that a whirl and see what's up. Oop, not quite what I wanted. I like music to sit a little underneath anything that's going on. Here, here. Okay. There we go. Now I feel engaged because I can hear my character when she does things. Yeah. 
Hey, yeah, that's what I'm trying to adjust here. We're all over it. Oh, hang on. I needed to open this other program so that I can follow the chat better. Come aboard, chatty. There we are. Right. So, that should be good. Might even be too loud. We'll find out when the scary, spooky stuff happens. I've heard... The only thing I know about this game... Uh, other than it looked neat, and then I watched a little trailer, and I was like, alright, give that a whirl. I don't think there's any combat. Like, there might be spooky stuff, like jump scares or something, but there is definitely no combat. We might have to avoid fights at some point. Uh -huh. Oh, alright. Step on things that look like you should step on them or interact with them. And stuff might happen. Press A to jump. Oh, I... They didn't think I would have jumped until then. Oh, my first instinct is to try to jump over there. Just cuz. Okay. Press A to jump. Oh, move toward a world will begin climbing. And then I have a stamina meter. All right, conveniently located next to me whilst I'm climbing. Does it apply to ladders? So if the ladder is too high, okay, good. We get a freebie on ladders. Good to know. Okay, oh, I bet you, oh, I was gonna say, I bet you I'm about to learn to crouch. Stickity sticky. Hang on. Okay, my only complaint about this game so far is a complaint about, like, just from me, the human being, not me, the gamer, is that if I have to listen to her adventure an entire game in flip flops, that's, that might make me vomit. The sound of sweaty flip-flops just makes my skin crawl. Okay. Can I jump and climb? Oh, I can. Jumping and climbing. No problem. No, uh... Okay, can't grab, like, the ledge from underneath or anything. So, got a little bit of parkour action. Uh, here's where we find out if there's fall damage, I guess. Ugh. Perfectly fine. If there's one thing I know about games like this, uh, birds mean safety. So, we should be okay then. Haha! -ha! Whoa! Okay. So we're just out in the world. Well, there's a fire burning over here. That's obviously where they want me to go. I would like to try to jump onto these dunes. Or these little sand thingies. What are you? Oh yeah. I looked over a statue. Anything I can learn? That's just the light of the door that I opened. I can't imagine there's going to be stuff like collectibles. I don't think it's that type of platforming game. <laughs> Run around and find all oh, bunch of like fun outfits for Sable. I don't think that's going to be a portion. I think we're just gaming. Sprinting. Hold down B whilst moving around. You can only sprint whilst you have enough stamina. Appreciate the whilst. Haha. -ha. And away! Hey, her, hey, her. Okay, now, is it like you have to run from the sand sharks? Nothing like that. Okay. I mean, that would technically be con combat. You've come to the Ibex camp. And so it auto saves in the bottom corner. Even just pulling ourselves up a ledge, they give you the courtesy of a stamina meter. But what's all that? Oh, they're looking at it, too. Okay, where did I come from? Well, that's nice looking building, too. Now we're jamming. Okay. I kind of just want to boop around and explore, but I should at least get, like, some sense of what it is I'm meant to be doing before I just start running around like a goofball. Here we go. Hi there! Stranger, or perhaps best pal? Don't know. We haven't interacted yet. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, you... Oh, it looked like you had an axe. Yeah, you messed that thing up. Whoa! Hang on, that guy had some funky cybernetic limbs going on. I can feel Jotty smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know we aren't... You have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Ah, oh, right on cue. 
Thanks, Chatty. And yet, I know, I know, I'm not worried. Do you want to, like, overcompensate? Let's just... All right, all right. We acknowledge it. I tell Jetty that I know, but that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. I like that we're doing our dialogue kind of in a past tense, so you don't have to, like, you know, you inject your own voice, because we are Sable. We are all Sable. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. That's actually the way I go through most things. A lot of anticipation of the actual event or whatever. Like right now, I have a wedding that I need to be attending at the beginning of July. So I'm traveling across province uh, in order to do that. <laughs> I'm trying not to, Okay, I can't. I'm trying to no-sell Uwu's comment there. <laughs> Even though it's good stuff. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so I have a lot of anxiety about this upcoming wedding that I'm going to, because I have to travel across the province. I'm not anxious about going on plane or anything like that. It's the uh, reception amongst strangers, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But I have to cross that bridge when I come to it, and I'm sure the event, when I'm in the thick of it, will be fine. Anyway, Jotty wants us to remember the first time you rode a bike. He wouldn't even let me put you on a seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. Yeah, but Uwu, based just on the size of your family, I can tell that you're a way more sociable creature uh, than I am. Uh, I don't really... Like, throughout my lifetime, I've been able to count the number of, like, active friendships on one hand. And quite honestly, uh, f for most of that, those that one hand of friends wouldn't necessarily even know one another. Like, they, I, they would just be a friend of mine that we I'd hang out one-on-one -on -one with. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, That's and that's part of it. Like, I'm, I'm old enough to know that the, the, the pre-anxiety is never going, it's never going to be as bad as I think. Like, never even close. Like, quite honestly, sometimes it's even borderline enjoyable. But, uh, but the, that doesn't stop, that doesn't stop the head from going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Crowded, uh, crowded spaces, so you always hide in groups. Is that like a hiding in plain sight? Like smaller groups help you combat the larger ones? Oh, that's very sweet of you. Appreciate that. You wouldn't even... Okay, saw that. Your hands are so afraid. Your hands are like little claws. I was also fascinated by the fact that I think cloud coverage rolled overhead whilst we were in this menu. I feel like there's real, real weather going on. that, Or a real day-night or something. I feel the memory in my finger. Because now look at the palettes change and everything. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman. And how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little gla grasping claws on the handles and you were off. I, yeah, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's weather specifically or, or day-night. And this might be night or close to it. Oh, hang on. Let's check the position of the sun. Uh, nope, that's a poof of cloud. Mm, I think maybe by the color of the sky. We're supposed to be able to tell. Anyway. Claws. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jotty reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I don't know where to start. I think I'm ready. I've changed my mind. I'm staying. Oh, okay. So they are supportive of whatever uh, mythic journey we are about to undertake. But th this is a true. This is a true statement. So I will stay. I will stay honest here. I honestly don't know where to start. Give us a little hint here, Jotty. Jotty's story. I also don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Jotty's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle in my tea kettle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Oh, dum-dum. Well, I can help with that. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we're sort of after here. Thanks, Jotty. Let's swivel over here. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike. Ooh. And Hilal will share something, well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? Uh, a camera? What could I use in this game that I know has no combat in it? Oh, a grappling hook? Can I get a grappling hook? Can I get a grappling hook? I think I might suspect what Jotty's saying, but I stay quiet. Oh, all right. Keep your secrets. 
After that, I suppose we'll see you off. No, I'm not worried about choosing the wrong path, because it's an open world game. I'm just worried about running around for two hours, accomplishing next to nothing and boring my viewership. Boring the viewership. I tell Jotty I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you're even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her why. that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly, so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Ah, oh, Jotty. Sweet Jotty. Now go speak with Halal. Oh, sun's rising. No, wait. It's nighttime for sure, because look at the sky. So that's like the, the last of the sun setting, perhaps. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. Oh, I got a compass. Look at that. See, night has fallen. Man, we have been talking to Jotty all day. Just yammering on by the fire that also doesn't need tending in any way, shape, or form. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact you might... A gliding? Oh, maybe I get a hand glider. With all the things I can uh, climb up and then jump off. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. The only answer is thank you. I need to complete tasks, and I now have a compass that I can use if I hold down the L button! Whoa! Wait. That's cool. That's a fun application of your, your mini map. Oh, look at that! Okay, so I, th I think that means it's hour 23, because it says it is night time. Okay, and uh, look at this point into my objective. Look how cool this looks. All right, objective one. Ha, I was just compassing about you. What's up? Why do we look like retired Destiny players? Is that what this is? Is this a community of like guardians that have just like, they don't have the fight in them anymore? I could see that. Anywho, let's just bop back over here real quick. Hey. First off, I'm not going to stare, but you know I have a bajillion questions uh, about your left leg. And maybe the fact that you can make the remote control float a little bit slower before you catch it. Anyway, what's up? As I approach Halal, oh, it's a stone. They give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Oh! Take this gliding stone. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, it's the stone itself that uh, hovers in the air. Halal hands me a small, round stone. It's a featureless black stone. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I stared into it. And stare. And stare. And stare. Anyway, as it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric like static on cloth. Uh, yeah, let's let's figure out how this works. What What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. Oh, it's a credit card. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? Uh, unease, I tell Halal that I feel multiple choice. Connectedness, connectedness, I can't even say it, let alone feel it. Fuzziness, electricity. I'm gonna go fuzziness. I feel fuzzy. This stone makes my hand feel funny, hello? What do we do? Then you're doing it right. What you f feel in that stone is openness. All right. I look at the stone, it seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Oh. Is that, um, if I'm remembering my Wheel of Time, like a Talondriel or something like that? Right now it's empty or dormant or a soul stone for a more uh, video game friendly vernacular. And waiting for you to fill it up. What am I filling it up with? I ask how I can do this. Excellent question, Sable. Good to know we're on the right page here. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. Oh, I can barely make those out. 
But yeah, I think they're sitting on top there. You'll be able to activate it there. Well, we get a clearer picture. They'll all claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. I'd appreciate it if they animated a, even a even one of those claps for me. Come back to me once. That's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Maybe it's a lot of like mind theater and it's a lot of just like psychic energy crackling between these two. Like they're just staring at each other like this in their world, but you know, in their minds, the conversation, like it's one of these situations, giving you one of these, except it'd be like all like, you know, just sort of emptiness around them, but like the slow spin as they're like exchanging psychic energies. Anyway, Halal stops me with mind bullets. Oh, you haven't gotten your bite yet, have you? It's a bit off of a trek, a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jotty's words now and tell Halal I'll go and see Driss. I'm just assuming if you went in the opposite, you'd get uh, text supporting the opposite path. That's cool as heck. Okay, so uh, I've immediately forgotten the compass button. There it is. I am at the Whispering Stones. Oh, it is now midnight. Hello. Up there. Ooh, I wanted to go say hi to that person. Oh, let me just take a look at other things here. So I don't have any uh, crackers. I don't have any Triscuits or, or cheese nibs in the bottom corner. And I don't have any uh, friendly snakes. So zero and zero. And it's definitely midnight o'clock. Perhaps midnight 30. What are you? Post box. Oh, okay. You're a mailbox. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread message is zero. Ah, have a good day. Phew. Just making sure. Oh, I just now noticed there's a north on the compass. So now I'm headed south. Yeah, so no, no fall damage, which to me means no damage of any kind. Whoa. I can pick you up, I can put you down, I can pick you up and throw you. There, I hucked a bucket for your hay. I got you a hay bucket. You're welcome. Okay. Wait. I gotta go to Driss first. I don't remember him being... Yeah. I wonder if I can switch uh, quests that I'm tracking. Hello. Hello. There we go. That's better. Okay. So now you'll show me the two of them. Yeah, because I gotta go talk to the other guy. Are you Driss? I'm looking for a Driss. Are you Driss? Well, I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up to Driss, who I know uh, on site immediately and have been uh, looking forward to speaking to. Hi, Driss. What's up? Yeah, everyone looks like retired guardians. Now living that Jawa life. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. Or maybe it's just really difficult to get parts all the way out here. And so it took a while to uh, cobble together something that's, uh, you know, resembles a bike. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore? Will I get used to it? Probably at first and then yes. Driss turns with a bit of a start. Have we just been like heavy breathing on his back this whole time? Sable, uh, hello. Hi, give me my bike. Oh, let's just be nice. Hello, how are you today? I asked Driss how he is. I'm well. Give me my bike! Oh, I let it hang there for a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, yes, of course, right. Yes, your bike. Uh, that I was meant to, uh, uh that I prepared for you. Uh, because today is your, uh, is your 11th name day. Uh, is, uh, it's, uh, for the, uh, uh, gliding, yeah, yeah, the gliding. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right, yes, yes, I do have that, uh, Mabel. Mabel, right? It's definitely Mabel. <laughs> My blood runs cold. Has he forgot? By which I mean, I arranged it for you in a well. It's a sort of a, a tutorial for you, he says, 
leaning heavily on the fourth wall for support. Uh, uh, it's not here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna indulge them. Not exactly, but that's because this is part of your gliding. It's all an elaborate plan. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must build it from scratch. Oh, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike for a period of seven to 10 days. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. I can't see him slyly smiling behind his mask that we all must wear to survive the harsh environment here in desert hell. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. The one that looks like a wood stove, uh, just hovering there. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester, if I've ever seen one. Uh, what's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days, always asking questions. But what, what political affiliation hath the bike? Tell me, tell me of its moral compass. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Mm -mm. I look for something, somewhere, anywhere, to write that down. When you're not riding it, something about the compass. Oh, will it show me where my bike is at all times? Yeah! I'm assuming that's where my bike is at all times. It's hanging. That's where my bike will be on my compass. All right, here we go. There's a strafe button. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and accelerate. It's just a minute. I see. Oh, I have to switch into strafe mode. Okay, I thought that was just something I was gonna be doing. <laughs> Easy peasy. Uh, I thought that was just going to be something I was doing on the fly as I'm moving around. Strafe mode is weird. Now I have to strafe and then tap A again and whistle. Whistle while you strafe. Do -do 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 -do. In and out of strafe mode. So that's not something I need to probably actively be doing in order to avoid danger, at least. At least I can assume that. Because otherwise, I don't know, that's kind of clunky. Hey! I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming back. Does he have suffer from short-term memory loss, Driss? Does he know where he is right now? Sable! It is Sable, right? Congratulations! How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? What do you mean fires? Surely you'd you'd notice it was on if it was on fire, if you were on fire even a little bit. Well, Mm. Is that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Everything sounded normal. Well, the sound cutter must like you then. It's usually a little more temperamental with new riders. But you're not even a little bit on fire. Is technology sentient in this world? Somehow? Like you're talking about it like it's a, it's a temperamental old horse. Have you already been by Halal? Sure have. Yep, I'd nearly forgotten about Halal and thanked Driss for the reminder, before at least nudging him a little bit about the bike. I asked him if I'll be get, still be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands, he says insultingly. I clench my fist and unclench them. He is the bike gatekeeper after all. And Halal's got something to show you too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. My confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished. I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Halal. Oh, they did not take into consideration that I'd already spoken to Halal in that instance. See you later, Ring. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, do I, can I operate compass? I surely can. Now.
Is there more I need to do here? Do I have to go back? I already spoke to them. My task from Driss was go see Halal, though. Does that make sense? Whoa! Whatever, let's try the other one. Because it's more exciting to venture off here. Easy does it. Easy does it. Okay. Uh, over here. We're going to be doing this thing. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Let me... Compass. And we turn all the way around. Because of course we're going the wrong way. Oh. I don't necessarily need to accelerate. I'm just pushing forward. I thought I was meant to accelerate with right trigger. Hello! Oof. Oof. I am avoiding seeing all of this civilization. Oh, there's not really much going on. Okay. Bye, everybody. Try not to miss me too hard. Oh, I was in strafe mode that whole time. Maybe that makes a difference. No, this thing's still real slow. Okay, put that, put the yes. There we go. Alright, let's find somewhere to park our bike. Oh. Uh, mm. uh, uh, uh. I'm driving you up the side of this thing if it kills me. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Stay put, Mike. We'll be back. All right. That feels like this is the place. We're gonna go gliding, y'all. Do we have enough stamina? Hurry! Just like they planned it. Again, I don't know if there's anything to collect that I should bother even remotely checking for. If I could just concentrate on moving around. I think it's a moving around situation. Okay, what do we got? Oh, that seems altery. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, like the glorious mothmen before us. Working on them glutes forevermore. Popping a squat in the hereafter. Whoa, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's good. Okay. We just rode the debris down, so we're all right. Okay. And the platforminess begins. Ooh. Oh, I mean, sure, I could have taken the ladder, but what fun is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's way too high. Oh, maybe over here. Oh, I can't reach that. Nope. Not now, maybe not ever. If there's a drop down button, the answer is no! Drop down, drop down, drop down. Okay, I just hit A. Uh. All right, that was kind of fun, but now let's try to find the actual path. This looks interesting. What do we have over here? More temple. Love it. Oh, all the lights. Now we're getting somewhere. So smooth as silk, like turning around and stuff. But still, you can still tell that they're like 
purposely limiting the animation. Like, look at her run cycle. Could be smooth, but they're purposely, like, I don't know, controlling the frame right there or just animated it differently than the environment. What's up? The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Exhilarated? Maybe? It feels right. Let's go exhilarated. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in the sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Uh-oh. She's got a bead on me. I'm in her sights. Oh! Got a message on my gliding stone. Oh, hang on. Hello? Oh. Sentient confetti. Give us some power. Whoop! You like floating, do you? Just float your boat. Second floor. Lingerie. Pet supplies. Garden tools. Boy, my everything. Show Halal the activated gliding stone. Well, now. Yeah, I was gonna say. Press and hold A to glide in midair. Woo! Alright. I bet a floating bubble. Um, it's a strange color choice, if I'm honest. It doesn't. Like, it looks kind of fun, but also kind of weird. I don't know. It's more of a filter than anything else. Okay. Ooh, am I meant to make it all the way over there? Maybe. Here we go. Gliding. Oh, there is no limit to the gliding. Okay, it just depends on height. And I'm gliding. I wonder if I can, yeah, I'm sure I get over here and then start climbing. Awesome. All right, it's not a grappling hook, but I will take it, because it's cool as heck. Hey. Herp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can just glide until we hit land. That's awesome. And we out. Thank you. That was great. Now... Anything I can glide on top of on my way out, just to show how badass I now am. Well, there's my bike, I think. Let's go glide over to the bike. Da, 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 da. I taking a time, having a little drift on the wind. Hello, bike! Okay. Halal's gonna want to see this. Butter, butter, butter. Maybe this gave Driss time to uh, cobble something together for me. Because I don't think we're meant to <laughs> adventure on a bike. Like, the emissions on this thing alone, I feel like we're doing more harm than good to even exploring this world. Okay, Driss, I might just even leave this right here for now. Thanks for the lending of your bike. 
I gotta go talk to the important person now. I mean, the other person. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, overzealous. Okay. That's what it touched. Uh huh. Yeah, you climb that. Okay. Okay. A hazard of uh, some of these parkour games is that if you can climb on everything. Potentially, you can throw yourself all around the map in weird ways. Hi there! When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf, in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? Oh, look at that animation finally. How does it feel? Uh, safe like a warm hug in my bubble. I tell Halal that I feel almost embraced by the perpetual warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. What do you mean, miss it? You can't do it after a while? But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, so you get like this magical time of your life where you can become one with the perpetual in a way where you get your little safety bubble to go explore. Well, that's a nice metaphor. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. Is that really what you do? I wish we could all do it. I tell Halal I wish it were something we could keep perpetually. Ha 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 ha. So do I, Sable. So do I. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Halal laughs, even if there's a bit of, reg of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding won't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. My dresser, my teddy bear, most of my clothes, the dog. I lose the perpe to, to lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I run to find joy. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. That's a weird way of describing it. What do you mean it'll be over before you know it? A warning and a reassurance all in one. Well, at least Sable got more of it out of it than I did. I say goodbye to Halal in our traditional groin punch ceremony. Before I go, Halal gestures toward the tower, it seems. Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Sizo, who sees all from up there. Sizo sees me? Sizo sees I, you say. You say Sizo sees me. Okay. I go see Sizo. Let's go see Sizo. Oh, Sizo! We go to see Sizo! 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 I suppose any place is a good place to start. Might as well take the stairs. Gonna see Sizo. Gonna see Sizo. Mizo and Sizo having a convo. Flipping and a flopping up the big old stairs, except for the whoa, easy there, easy there. Oh, Vazellus with the climbing skills, girly. Hi there. Cizo is an outclanner to the Abexi, but I've known her as nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her more as kind of a distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But CISO has been among us so long that it's easy to forget. It's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Abexi versus outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. 
Uh, list of choices. Excited for my bike. Cizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. <laughs> like a songbird. It's quite a serious. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jotty told me how excited you were. Cecil sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bite together, but I think he may have. I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I'd tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. Oh, I do have to build it myself. Love it. That sounds like an adventure. I tell Cizo I like the sound of that, a little adventure before my big one. It's more meaningful than you know. To bond with one's bike before it was it has taken form is more privilege than labor. Here, take this. Cizo hands me something. It's called the Navigator. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I ask Cizo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. Oh, so they scavenge and build stuff out of the remains. You'll find another one up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. Oh yeah, I can see it. And another behind that old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Do most gliders make their bikes? I ask Cizo if most gliders really make their own bikes. Only the lucky ones, says Cizo. So I tell Cizo I'll seize her soon, and I head off in search of the components. Together we will create something new out of the old, and then we'll borrow something and paint it blue. Right bumper is now Navigator. Your primitive compass means nothing to me. The Navigator. Whoa. Use right bumper to use the Navigator to mark interesting landmarks that to appear. Oh, uh, dang it, I didn't get to read the rest of that. Uh... Remove marker. Wait. What on earth? Does that mean there's no marker for this place anymore? Because I removed it? Oh no, that thing. It must be that. Place marker. Unless I did it accidentally. Toggle sensitivity. Whoa! Okay. I see. Um... Well, there's a ship over here. Like, right there. How many markers can I place? Oh, they each have a different color, so many. Okay. Uh, there's this ship right here. Right about Amara. And then there's one behind the dam, you say. Where might that dam be? There's one over here. Way back... Uh, here. Whoop! Uh, oh, wait. I can really fine tooth it with this. It's like peggling my, uh. Sure? Exit. Now, if I hold. Nope, hang on. Hmm. Oh, left thing is compass, right thing is got it. Ships of old. Find those things. There are my markers. I see. Okay, I think I can remove this one safely. I sink up here. Get rid of that one. Very interesting 3D waypoint system. That's pretty fun. So yeah. Go to those places, find those things. Starting with Isushipa right to here. Whee! I can glide through the world. There are collectible thingies. There's collectible thingies. What are you? A chum egg. Whoa. 
Whoa. Offered by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Ting. One chum egg, please. Thank you. Delicious. Okay. I don't know how many there are in the world, but now I know there are collectibules. Um, one of those. So, maybe the other thing is credits or something. It's already 17 o'clock. I better get gliding. Sailing, sailing over the sandy dune. There we go. I should have taken the other bike, but hey, I'm a floater now. Let's see, I wonder how I get in this sucker. Let's check the back. It's gonna take a while to get back home, I just realized. Well, maybe not, it's not that far. I should go grab the other bike just to make it a little bit faster, but... Cool. Stamina upgrades at some point, too. What's up? Scan me! No need. I'm just gonna let me do it. Okay. Pretty standard interior. Let's get that replicator working. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I did notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push it. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it is it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right. Let's see if what that old machine has told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Roman. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh... On Rahona's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked. We're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? Let me check the machinist's notes. A long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Ramen? That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Okay. How could there be nothing useful in this ship? Where else can I get to in this ship? Do I have to crawl through, like, some aqueducts and cheese? What's going on? Do I need to crawl around it? Okay, I'm still looking for... Control panel, power supply, and an atomic calibrator. Also, my waypoint seems to have disappeared because I made it here. That's fine. Oh, just before you go. Oh, crossed arms, and I have no control. Whoa! Hello, other person. Are you looking for a calibrator? Says Saima. I am immediately on guard. Simon so has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. But in practice, you won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get to me. May I please have it? I decide to be gentle, and I ask her, may I please have it? She makes me terribly, all high and screechy. Despite my best efforts, I seethe. Oh well, too bad. Maybe you find it on your own, but I don't think so. Sima laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Sima. If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the cal calibrator or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Beetle detour! Oh, look at that! And it automatically spawned my thing for me. That was, that was most uh, generous of it. 
beetle detour. Oh, what the crap. I was just moving the camera and not the actual bike. Okay, that's the crap. Come here, you little brat. Oh, this thing handles beautifully. Oh, we just bump into him. Okay, so with that in mind, Beetle Detour. Beetle Detour, Beetle Detour. Back to the Ivex camp. Ask around camp how to catch beetles. Oh, like a beetle shrine right here. What's going on, Beetle Lord? That's Cassette. The dye bottle for the colors of the Ibex red bike. Oh, so I, there are uh, skins to unlock. All right, all the standard stuff. I wonder if they just threw that in because that's what people expect. Hi. I found the dye that was in here. But I weren't stuck on this wall. Eh. Eh. Okay. Hi, campers. I'm back. Did you amaze me? I'm here to bother you about, uh, beetles. It's us as farmer. Hello there! Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. All right. It's fun buildings I want to go, like, explore, though. Scooting around it, huh? Whoa! Hey, Driss has. Uh... Hey, Driss! This bike sucks, but uh, how about them beetles, yo? I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Sima. Beetles. There's enough of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor, the beetle will start eating it, and then you can sneak up and grab it. Driss asked me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. Okay. So, I said the seeds are nearby. The area I need to get to. Let's, let's go check that out. Hello, I'm here for beetles. Are you a beetle over there? How do I even know? Well, it's definitely amongst these. Okay. That's so tall though, there's no way I can platform up those. This one maybe? I can get up here maybe. Come on! So close, okay. Let that refill. Uh, what? That was a weird sound. Let's try that again. I should be able to do this. I know it's not the way it wants me to do it. Refilled. Oh, it was me. Floating. Okay, climb, climb, climb. There, now I'm on this thing. Hello. I skipped some of this. Okay. I'm assuming up is the way to go. Let us continue to go up. Plants are usually a good sign. Any sort of vegetation or life. I see. Bunch of beetles. 
supposed to climb to do something with the gunbow. Seems. Oh. 20. Uh, whatever's. Okay, beetles down there. Perhaps the seeds are up here. Steps in today. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I'm well above them now. Like, well above them. Okay, there's a seed in a tree, beetles underneath, etc., etc. But I'm going for that, uh, thing about who that's. Think about who that's away! Look at that. None of it counts as a stamina loss either. What's up, chum egg? Thank you. Okay, now. So the thing I'm supposed to do is knock the seeds off of the trees? Gather beetles. But, uh, how exactly? Okay, I knock one down. So excited. Okay. Now I can't see. Got it. Can I use the same seed? Hey, hey, check it out. Yoink. Okay. Now for this third sap. Look at that. Tasty seed. Tasty seed and a beetle for me. Dude it. Place. Okay, bye. We'll leave the normal way. Oh, that's what was down there the whole time. Got it. Makes sense. Oof. And down this a ways. Oof. And down this a ways. Oof. the band. Wait, what? Why does it say zero of three? Yeah? Okay. Give the Beatles to see she likes to play in a cave underneath the camp. Yeah. I gotta go home now. Don't you be telling me I don't know what I need to be doing. I need to get to home. There we go. Whoop. 
Real smooth ride. Whoop! feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Sam with the Beatles, but rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving! You're leaving and you'll never come back! Comfort her. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. I miss her too. There's been a letter here and there, but it's always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go. I'll tell I tell Sama not to worry, that I will be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she point she pouts behind the mask. And I add that if I'm that if I am not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding by then and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good. And I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. You little scamp. Okay. Got one of the three thingamahoozits. Mahoozit number two, please. Uh, I think, damn, I think water temples. So let's go do something else. Let's do the red one. The ship in the distance, right? It's kind of in the distance. Buttering along. Buttering along. Ooh. There's a different kind of ship that crashed. Okay, so I wonder what those spots are. Perhaps they're, uh, there's like a dig later. Maybe I can look now, actually. One second. This little circle. Oh, there's something in there. Whoa, look at that! Hang on. Can I do it again? Nope, you snap back into the world. Okay. Hmm. A hidden fortune. Nothing I can do at the moment, but I'm fairly certain that's going to be something later. Yeah, look at them all over here, too. Okay, hello there. Oh. Okay, that's just part of the ship. The rest of the ship is clearly up this, because I gotta climb it. What an invitation. Climb me! Okay. Climbing, climbing, and we make it just once again. Just me. Da, da, da. Hello. Hip. What a great color palette this game has. Let's check this out. Look at that. Very inviting. Very fun. Ooh. I did notice the frame rate chugging a little bit whilst I was like in the midst of some of my platforming. <laughs> Beyond the, uh, the difference in the frame rate, or you know, deliberate animation choice between camera slash environment and our main character here. <laughs> I am running on a Series X, so I'm not going to say it's the hardware. Hup. I got it for ever. There's new ever to get to. Yep. For that. To that. Start climbing once more. Hang on. I can't not explore around now that I know there's little fuzzy worm friends to find. 
how many. Well, we met two of them. At least they're not lonely. Just a random. Oh, this looks nice. Let's set up a house here. I mean, there's some spaceship bits, yo. What we got here? Power leaking out of this thing. Still. That's impressive. Like this atomic power supply. Haha. Okay. Now there's gotta be secrets up here somewhere. Of walls or climb up surfaces. Or you can do, depending on the angle, you can do this and just Skyrim your way up. Um, careful. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't get up there. I don't even think I'm supposed to get up here. Oh, there's a worm friend. By. Worm friend. So let's start heading in this direction. Uh, once I get home, it'll like respawn my bike. Plus, I'm building a new one, so I don't really care too much. And then we'll head to the dam. But first, I'm gonna get that worm friend that's right there in the middle. I'm staring at him. Here we go. The super float. Oh, there's something else here, too, it looks like. That might be just a discoloration. It's fine. Coming in for a landing. Pretty close. Oh, I, oh no, I can't climb this. I can't climb this. It's too high. I'm going to get about halfway up. Eh, Two thirds. Okay, so that might have to wait until I get a uh, climbing. Oh no, wait, maybe I can get around. Hang on. I guess I might wait till I get a climbing upgrade, but this might do it. This might do it right up here. Come on, come on. There you're up. There you're up. Keep, keep hopping. Stamina coming back. There you are, friend. My third chum egg. What's up, chums? Okay. Well, we're definitely headed home-ish. Eventually. Get to that... That dang. Is that the dam? That's not the dam. What's that? That's gotta be something I just climbed. Whoa! Wrong button. Put a marker for later. Right up there. Didn't quite make it to the other red thing, I think. But he's going green. Can I then push the red one? Okay. Didn't quite need to get here anyway. Oh, I think something is in the way. Hang on. Something in the way. Hang on. Okay. Now can you lock me? There you go. Okay. Get rid of that one. I 
the waypoint system is real dope. I really like that. I really like the compass is really cool too. Game looks cool. Much like I am a floating head in the top corner. She lives her life in her little floating bubble. Are you in the right way still? Sure are. Look at that, I got three chum seeds. I got 40, uh, I'm assuming dollars. It's uh, 4 p.m., so we're perhaps through the heat of the day. I'm gonna check the dam. What is this? Why is this such a different color? That, no, okay, that's just a bit of vegetation. Okay. Ask a question, get an answer. Hello there. I've got a butterfly. I just ripped it out of the air, you precious thing. Look how pretty you are. You're mine now. I just crush it in my fist. Gosh, I love the freedom of being able to explore on my gliding day. Everything belongs to me now. Everything I see is mine. Everything belongs to me now, and I like it just fine. Sable slowly loses it. The allure of ultimate freedom corrupting her young, fragile mind. Obvious, so let's do it. <laughs> Stamina free ladders. Get them freebie climbs. Next to that. Aw. Uh, this really handle. Oh, come on. We handle 3D shapes that well. Like I said, it won't like grab around type of thing, but straight path, it'll climb straight up, more or less. This looks important. Ooh, fancy. Did we just open the dam? Wait, I mean, I guess there's no water, so it doesn't matter, but that's still interesting. Okay. Rolled that up. How do I even get over there? Oh, hello. Cha -ching. I appreciate that your instinct is to climb everything, but I think it's a little, little sensitive. Ah. Uh, maybe I meant to just glide over. There's my newest skill. That's not nearly glidy enough. Oh, there we go. Sable's got skills. Oh, there we go. Okay. 100% what we were meant to do. Because now here's the way down. I'm just looking for friends and, you know, secrets and whatever else. I spin frantically. Spin, spin, spin. Hi. In we get. Crack that code. It's also teaching me that I can do color coded things to get inside places. Okay, I'm looking for chum eggs. Also, I guess, you know, bike parts, but mostly chum eggs. Yes. I have all of the parts. All of the parts are now mine. Uh, 
Sure. I just found this little tiny corner of ship to fall in. Just for funsies. Okay, let's get out of here. Did you at least all and spawn my bike nearby? That's okay. I wasn't expecting you to. I'm just looking around for seed friends and uh, whatever else. Whatever the heck might be going on over here. fan of uh, just being able to climb like any old thing. If we get up, we get. I mean, it's obviously not perfect, but it's fun to be able to just grab something and go, you know? Quite literally. Oh, except for the part where she doesn't actually grab ledges. Oh, careful. Hey, I was looking for you. Thank you. Chumming number four. A chumming like never before. What is that shrine? Let's check it out. Too much to see and explore with Chumming four. Okay, okay alright, so I'm not gonna make it all the way up top. So let's go here and climb. Dang it, climb. Hello. Uh, are we stealing like an offering? That seems inappropriate. I guess we do what we gotta do. Sable do what Sable won't. Huh. Generally speaking, we need to go in this direction. But, uh... Probably not. This one. On purpose. Ugh. We long run back. The last run we'll ever have to take without our fully upgraded, potentially functioning sand bike, hover bike. The likes of which we've not yet encountered. I'm not counting the, the janky tutorial one. I feel like that's just trying to get you used to the concept. And even then, it's it seems I'm bad at steering it. It is uh, decidedly floaty, which makes sense as you literally hover. Eh. Okay. Days and days we've been adventuring. that ring counts if we go through that. Not that I have a bike present to do that, but it counts. There's got to be chum stuff and whatever else. There's got to be hidden stuff in all that. Look at that. Anywhere I see even vegetation, there's got to be something hidden.
It's like a heartbeat sound effect when that uh, gliding thing is up for long. It's like you're in the womb. Your little safe bubble. Okay, I definitely did all this before. Yeah. Right? This seems familiar. This thing. Yeah, I went the other way. Let's try it here this time, though. Let's go a different path. I mean, I headed right toward the Apex camp and everything. Just go home. Just go home, girl. Just go home. How do I get out of Beta Valley? Excuse me. Come through. My name. Just doing what I do. Yay! See, it's all on purpose. I'm just gathering chum eggs like I mean to. I don't find them, they find me. Okay. Oh, you saved a, a dozen chum eggs. Now you get the super deluxe something. Super deluxe cycle. 9,000. to CISO. Way up top there. Is that CISO? How about you beat me down here? So I'm not the one constantly traveling. No? Okay. That's not even CISO. Tell CISO to meet me down there. No good. I'm gonna take a gamble and, and bet on myself being able to. Oh no, it's now it's sticking. Ah, if it was flat, maybe. But I can't climb up that. I'll steal all your money though, and your buckets. Your buckets and your ducats. They're all mine. I hope they're still up here. Ooh, come on now. We run it into the wall. Oh, geez. I should have mentioned this at the top of the broadcast. Uh, slightly shorter stream today. It'll be two hours as opposed to the usual three. Too many errands to run this afternoon. Need a little extra real world time, unfortunately. So we'll still got, you know, another half an hour, I'd say. Wrap this up of the day. I'm very much looking forward to coming back to this every Wednesday until we complete Sable. What's up? Give me my new bike. I returned to Cizo with the parts and it's as she weighs me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? When will I see her again? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? Can I make it a trike? I am ready. It's a rite of passage. Let us pass this rite. Cecil relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Cecil is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, not by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets. 
unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Uh, uh, okay. I was, I was thinking like, Debbie, is Debbie a good name for a bike? Debbie the bike. <laughs> Gliding bike wings. Wait, so the bike can glide too? Oh, okay. Let's go ahead. Oh. Oh, it's just a gliding bike in general. Okay. Gliding bike wings, gliding bike front, gliding bike butt. Gliding bike booster. Boop a boop. And assembly. Seat, thingy, booster, wings. There you go. Your spark plug is ready to ride. Isn't it glorious? Listen. Cecil tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to Simoon. All at once, I know the hover bike's name, Simoon. I say it in a whisper to let Sizu know. Simoon. Simoon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? You should ask her for yourself. Sizu looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing. Even when I lean close, I tell Samoon that I am eager to know her better. And Sizu looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready then for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Sizu was prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it meant quite that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Samoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I thank Cecil twice for good measure and give a bow. I am ready. I should speak to Jotty about the final gliding ceremony. Should I perhaps ride there? Ah, oh, dang it. Fine. I will. Why is it telling me that my guy's over here? Is it somewhere out there? Anyway. Hey, let's get back to town. The only way I know how. Sneaking up the back wall. There you are. Hi. I jump in front of your presence. I'm so happy to see you. Sable, that cartographer landed his balloon while you were away. Oh, that's what I'm seeing there. Okay, you should go speak to him. See if you can't get a map. I nod and begin to go, but Jody gestures me back and puts something in my hand. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. Sorry about that. Had to mute out some sneezes. Hopefully they got muted. I thanked Joffy effusively and headed out on my way. Didn't stifle that yawn. You win some, you lose some, audience. Okay. Is that a lantern? Or like, is there lemonade in there? A fun little thing, whatever it is. I should buy a map from Cartographer Jordan. Okay. Is that you? Yeah, that's you. As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Look, see another retired uh, guardian from Destiny. Something on your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That Ilaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance. Which I now understand is her daughter, Ilaria. You want me to get her back? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Okay, well. I'm gonna climb this sucker because I want to. Mm. 
Hello, Liam. <laughs> Hope you're having a nice day. Thank you very much for the the holy water and laxatives uh, joke on your entrance. <laughs> Hello there, little friend. I'm coming to help you. Are you the cartographer? Let me at least talk to the kid first. Hang on. The bloom is more fun than the person in it. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Interesting headgear. I approach the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. I mean, hard to miss. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off of one. Yeah, but you can float safely to the ground. Best not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you and... Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. Tell her I'm Sable. Suppose if you've come all the way this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. I tell the cartographer that I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. I will buy that map. Let us trade then. And so we shall. A map of the Ur sold by members of the Cartography Guild. How many would you like to buy? Just the one. I seem to have nothing left for you. Thank you for the map. I thank Jordan for the Ur map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes me feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Hakoa to the Sodic Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Ooh, you've unlocked a piece of the map. You can navigate to the map screen in the pause menu. Once you've visited a place, you can fast travel using the map screen. Your hover bike will also travel with you. Noise. Okay, so that's from the pause menu. We go to the map. I can go anywhere in her. I can't go anywhere out her. Okay. That's cute. Now, story-wise. What would you like me to do? So that blue thing. Plunk. Yeah, I don't really have a... Let's, uh... There we go. Go back to Jody. Excuse me. Got the map. Got her back to Jody. Hey, Jotty! I return to Jotty with a new likeness. Oh, we're there. Get down on your level. Easier to talk to you. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? We don't need no stinking badges. Look at me, Jotty! I'm already gliding! Uh, Cizo gave it to me. I tell Jotty that Cizo gave me the badge. You must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Oh, good. See, it makes sense that I'm already crouched. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask caster in no time. Do I get a more permanent mask? Is this like a temporary one? Do I get the mask of womanhood? I try to think about going to a mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. Ooh, that sounds terrible. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Is this code for something, Jotty? Do you want me to sow my wild oats? Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one permanent mask that will be riveted into your skull. You'll have to feel it out, but when you know, you know. Now! The tone of now puts the butterflies back in my stomach, and the butterfly in my pocket. With all this done, there's only one thing left. It's time, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. 
There you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. There are things I wish to convey to Jotty here, depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, take out the trash. I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional abexi maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the abexi. You will simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I am ready. Okay. Step one. I stand up. Step two. How do I put on my new, my new clothes? Yay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yes. I feel majestic. Children top. Trousers. Glider trousers. Glider top. Aha! Little red gliding hood! Heck yes! Little red gliding hood! Away we go! Love it. There's like a pole here. I'm gonna see if maybe I can interact with it first. Hang on one second. One second, Destiny! I know you await, but hang on. Something over here. Yeah. Oh, it's just a signpost. All right. Can I like? Yeah, I can interact. Perfect. What do you do? North is the Dunboyn. South to the Wind Tower. West Chums is written crudely on a sign, and northwest the Burnt Oak Station. Chums is written crudely on the sign to the west, huh? All right, I'll stick to, you know, I'll stick to the story for now. Gotta assemble my gliding mask. And then get my new bike. And then I am free to putter about the entire landscape. Hip. I think things are gonna work out that my puttering about the landscape will be the first thing we do next week. So we all anticipation and prep. Check us out. We're back. We got a cloak. We can do this. We've uh, we have some experience riding a bike that we're gonna parlay into more experience riding a bike. Uh, what's in here? Oh, that's telling me how to get out of here. That was true. I did have to scratch at one point. But right now I'm going through this eye door, this face door, to make my mask. This is so cool looking. Also slightly disturbing. Wah! It just knows. It just knows, quite literally. Quite literally, at the nose, it splits in half. Okay. Whoa, look how cool this looks. Never mind, I feel I feel good about it. I feel good about it. Neat. Okay. Time to step on some switches. This is everything I've ever trained for. And by trained for, I mean jumped around a little bit in the world. Yeah, again, they don't grab ledges is the problem. fall damage, so that's something to start with. Well, now I'm even lower. Up we get. Okay. This is fun. 
Ooh, the door looks the same on either side. That's interesting. Okay, off we go. Here. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I can get up there by climbing. I think it's gonna stop me right here. Yeah, see? Poor little hands can't do it. Oh man, I keep falling down more. Okay, so we got all these platforms in different sections. Maybe I need to tackle it section by section. So let's start over here. They'll get down eventually. It's literally the only, the only thing I can do in the game. Let's jump around and climb things. Gotta jump up, jump up to get down. from here? Can I go sideways? Oh, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Alright. Sweet. Up we go. Come for you, platform. We're gonna jump on you so hard. Or you're getting jumped on. We'll just you wait. Here it comes. Ooh. All right, one more. No time. Oh, that's something funky's gonna happen here, I think. Wah! Some weird energy blast just encircled the area. What was that? Steezy. <laughs> Click. Now what do you do? Open your arms? What's going on? Whoa, the third eye. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay. Well, that's pretty dope. Is that my mask? Does it get to be fun colors? You know, you'll be exploring the desert in a badass mask, but it's gonna be the color for Daffy. Mm. OK. 
Okay. Part of this part of this place. Oh, there it is. Return to camp. Not before putting on my sweet new mask. A mask worn by those in the sand sea made of bone. The ones particular to the Abexi are made from the skull of a mountain goat. I got my mountain goat mask and I'm ready to complete the next task with my mountain goat mask. Get out of the temple, Dum Dum. Okay. Step next. Get out of here. Uh, no problem. I'll just climb back up somewhere. Whoop, whoop. Hit button while climbing. You slide off. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's been a pleasure. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where have you been? You were in that temple for six years. Wild. Alaria has taken over the encampment. She rules with an iron feast. Ah, the dawning of a new day, potentially. No, it's 19 o'clock. The dawning of a 7 p.m. Return to camp. Well, let's see. <laughs> in the two hours I got to play this game today, in my, like, coming-of-age tale, I, much like the rest of my clan, look more like a badass retired Destiny 2 player. And this entire game is about making sure that the bike is actually useful. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's actually worthwhile to use your, your speeder bike in this, as opposed to how, like, eh, it kind of is an actual Destiny. I really like that. Like, tangentially, I know that's not their intention at all, but in the back of my head, I, I very much appreciate that. Looks like I have mail. What's up? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Jody's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. I decided to go on a trip. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into her, arm, into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things will, ca will always carry with you. Uh, you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know you're not supposed to do this, or I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station, and among Cizo's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we return to the Ur, so keep an eye on the post boxes, and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things are easy. As oh, I get, I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. So everybody left town. Uh, did they leave me my bike, my new bike, the good hovery one? Is that where I'm? Is that what I'm going to go get right now? Uh, no, I'm just running. Running out of the town. Uh, oh, I have no autonomy here. What does that do? 
told me to call out, so I called out. Whoa, I can summon my bike to me. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Well, that's a lot. I mean, not a lot, but that's... I mean, that seems like I should be doing it, you know? Like, all the, uh, the emissions of this thing seem like they belong. So that's something. Leave the canyon. Okay, we're gonna leave the canyon, and that's probably gonna be where we, uh, where we stop for today. The first respite out of this canyon. Here we go. Off to start the great big journey. Ta-da! We're gonna get a title screen now. Something. The end. Yeah, that was just the prologue. I thought so. And now Sable begins. I should speak with Itari. The machine is at Burning Oak Station. Okay. Uh, hang on one second. I'm so sorry to do this. <laughs> but as I don't know... <laughs> Who owns the copyright to that song? And as we are actually leaving the game now, I don't want to get like, I don't want to get in trouble. Nobody wants to get in trouble. Look at all this. Okay, standard clothing with the one badge. Just the same bike parts, no quest bits, key things, general stuff. <laughs> Fun little dance. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all right for that for now. Okay, definitely save if we weren't saving before. Yes, please. And uh, we're going to go back to title. After I turn the music back up, but we're going to go back to title real quick. Okay. All that. Oops. All that. Eh. Yes, please. There we go. All that so that we start our proper Sable journey next week. So the first two hours today, and then we'll pick it up next Wednesday in the afternoon, which means that I am done for the day, and I would like to thank everybody for watching, no matter where or when you happen to be. I'm wishing everybody out there chill vibes and clear skies. And if you happen to find yourself in possession of a plethora of positive energy, please share it if you can spare it. And don't forget about your old pal, the silent G, Rad Gnarly, saying so long for now. We are going to be back on the air Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern Time for more mayhem in Fire Pro Wrestling World. So until then, TTFN. Let's get myself out of here. Have you all a great day. Ta-ta for now.